So, force and current carrying conductor automotive effect questions. That's uh, the pink booklet. This is section 11. So, what you got to do is write out the equation in each box. So, what we have is that a force acting on a wire, a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field, is equal to the magnetic field between the north and south poles of the magnet times the current flowing in the wire times the length of the wire in the magnetic field. Okay, now you need to write this out quite a few, quite a few times and then also write out what each letter stands for. So, what we've got then is some low demand questions. So, use this equation. So, calculate the magnetic field. I'm going to use bug three foot throughout so i'm gonna box what i need to find out so i need to find the magnetic force on the wire and i'm going to underline the data that i've got and that is that uh b is equal to 0 0.05 tesla and i've got length equal to 0 0.3 meters and i've got a current I of equal to 22 amps. So force is equal to BIL. Insert the data. So that's going to be 0 0.05 times 0 0.3 times 22, which gives me an answer of 0 0.33 Newton. Moving on to the next one. So I need to find out the magnetic force, S. So what I need to do now is underline so magnetic force acting a box. I need to underline, underline my data and to grab my data. So B is equal to 0 0.04 Tesla. I is equal to 24 amps and L is equal to three meters. So write out my formula, force equals built, insert my data, 0 0.04 times 24 times three, and that gives me 0 0.288, or I'm gonna call that 0 0.3 Newtons. Okay, the last one then. So calculate the magnetic force again. So box this off, underline my data. So F, B, I, and L. So force, I don't know. Magnetic field strength is 0 0.025. Current is five, and length of wire is four. So the force is equal to B I L. Insert my data. 0 0.025 times 5 times 4. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.5 Newtons. I'll write that down in there. So moving on then. Got some standard demand questions. So, what I'm going to do is write down the equation for force on a current carrying current carrying wire. So F equals B times I times L. Now, what we need to do is plug FIFA. So, what is the magnetic force? So, we're finding force again. 10 meters, 20 amps, and 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus 5. So, force, no, I don't know. B is equal to 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla. Current is equal to 20 amps. L is equal to 10 meters. A formula. F equals B I L. 
insert my data. It's going to be 5.5 times 10 to minus 5 times 20 times 10. And that is equal to 0 0.011 newtons. So 0 0.011 newtons. Moving on. A wire. Write down the equation of force on a current carrying wire. F is equal to B by L. So calculate the magnetic force again. So I've got 90 centimetre wire, 0 0.8 Tesla magnetic field, and a current of 3.5 amps. So B is equal to 0 0.8 Teslas. I is equal to 3.5 amps, and length is equal to 90 centimetres, which is actually equal to okay, 0.9 metres. So formula, F equals bill, insert, so F will equal to 0 0.8 times 3.5 times 0.9, which in this case is 2.52 newtons, 2.52 newtons, there we go. So, Moving on. Oh, right down the force in a current carrying, carrying wire, F equals B I L. So now, let's have a look at this then. So, what is magnetic flux density? So, B, we don't know. Underline, so I'm going to go FIFA again. So I'm going to underline data set. Grab my data set. Force is equal to 0 0.5 newtons. I is equal to 10 amps. And L is equal to 50 centimeters which is equal to 0 0.5 meters. Okay, formula, F equals B, I, L. Insert my data. So I've got 0 0.5 is equal to B times 10 times 0 0.5. So a number of ways in which I can do this. Okay, I can multiply these out. Multiply this and this out and then rearrange. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to take 10 times 0.5. I'm going to divide both sides by that. It will cancel on the right and it will leave me with 0.5 over 10 times 0.5 equals B, which in this case is 0.1 Tesla. Have a look. 10 times 0.5 is equal to 5. So the 0.5 divided by 5 is equal to 0.1. Head forward. So that down the equation for force is equal to B. Uh, now we can forget this now. So force is equal to bill. So what is the current on the wire? Is what I'm finding here. So we have a B, I, L, and force. Let's grab my data. 2.5 newtons of force, 475 meters length of wire, and I've got 0.5 Tesla. So force is equal to BIL. Insert my data. 2.5 is equal to 0 0.5 times I times 475. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.5 times 475, which will leave me with 2.5 divided by 0 0.5 times 
minus 475, and that is equal to 0 0.01 amps. I'm just going to check that because, as you know, I don't trust calculators. 2.5 divided by brackets, 0.5 times 475. And that's equal to well, 0.010523. So it's a small amount current. So 0 0.01. Moving on. Oh. Write down the equation for force. So now we have calculate the current in a wire. I don't know. Now I'm gonna so box what I'm finding. I'm underlining my data. Okay, so F is equal to 0 0.2, I don't know, L is equal to 15 millimetres, and the magnetic field strength is 0 0.35 millitesla. So these are prefixes, so that's 15 times 10 to the minus 3 metres, and I've got millitesla, so that's 0 0.35 times 10 to the minus 3 Tesla. Okay. So, formula force equals bill. Insert 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.35 times 10 to the minus 3. I'm going to put brackets around there. Let's keep things nice and separate. Times I times L, which is 15 times 10 to minus 3. So I'm going to divide through by 0 0.35 times 10 to minus 3 times 15 times 10 to minus 3. And that will leave me with 0 0.35 times 10 to minus 3 times 15 times 10 to minus 3 here is equal to i which in this case is going to be a massive number, a very unrealistic number, but that's what I've found. It equals 38,095 amps, okay, which is absolutely massive. Now, moving on to 9.1. Write down the equation for force and the current coming up to the wire. The magnetic force acting on a wire of 1.5 Tesla, magnetic field of 4.4 Newtons, and, it has, and the current in the wire is 5 milliamps. What is the length of wire inside the magnetic field? No length. Box. So I've got my data. Force is equal to 4.4 Newtons. I is equal to 5 milliamps, which is equal to 5 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. Or it would be is equal to 1.5 tesla. Right. So formula F equals B I L. Now we've got insert my data. 4.4 is equal to 1.5 times 5 times 10 to the minus. 3 times L. So we're arranging this times in both sides, uh, divided both sides by 1.5 times 5 times 5 to the 10 to the minus 3 will give me 4.4 over 1.5 times 5 times 10 to the minus 3, which will equal L, which in this case is. 590 meters. So, moving on. Oh, here's where it starts to get a little bit interesting. So, we've got some high demand questions here. So, um, we're going to 
book FIFA. Oh, I'll try to if we can. A metal wire length 2.5 centimeters is placed in a magnetic field and a force of 20 newtons is exerted on it due to the motor effect. The wire has resistance of 5 ohms and supplies 12 volts. What is the magnetic flux density? So magnetic flux density of the magnetic field. So I'll give an answer to three significant figures here. So it's going to be force. Well, it's my force, it's 20 newtons. So I've got my uh, B, magnetic flux density, question mark, current. Well, I'm not told what current is. I don't know what current is. And to panic. And now I'm told I've got a length of 2.5 centimeters, which is going to be equal to 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Okay, so I don't know what current is. So let's have a look now. So I've got force is equal to B I L. I don't know what current is. But I do know that current, well, V is equal to I R. So rearranging this, current I will equal V over R. I've got V and R here. So we can say that I is equal to 12 divided by 5, which is equal to 2.4 amps. So now I can substitute my numbers in. So into force is equal to BIL. So I've got force is equal to BIL. So I've got 20 newtons is equal to B times current, which is 2.4, times the length, which is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. So rearranging this, taking 2.4 times 10 times 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2, to the right side, I've got 20 newtons divided by 2.4 times 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. And that will give me the answer of 333.3 Tesla. Now up here it says three significant figures. So I'm going to go with 333 Teslas. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check that. So I've got 20 divided by bracket 2.4 times 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 close bracket and that is now equal to 333. Okay, that's great. So last one then. So metal wire length 30 millimeters plus a magnetic field of flux density. 3.10 to minus 3. And a force of 15 newtons is exerted on it due to the motor effect. The wire is connected to 5 L volts. What is the resistance of the wire? Okay, so. Right, resistance of the wire. Ah. Oh, a little bit tricky, this one then. So let's have a look at what data we've got then. So. Well, we've got 30 millimetres length of wire. So length is equal to 30 millimetres, which is 30 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. Now, I've got a magnetic flux density B equal to 3 times 10 to the 3. Tesla, I've got I. Well, I don't know what I is, but I do know what force is equal to, and that is equal to 15 newtons. So I've got force is equal to BIL. So I've got 
B and I've got L, but I don't have I. If I can calculate I, then using I current, I should be able to calculate R because I've got V, the voltage here. So V is equal to 12 volts. So here goes. Force is equal to V I L. So insert my numbers. 15 is equal to B, 3 times 10 to the 3 times I times the length, which is 30 times 10 to the minus 3. So this leaves 15 divided by 3 times 10 to the 3 times 30 times 10 to the minus 3. Will equal I, which in this case is 0.16 amps. Okay, let's just check that. So 15 divided by brackets 3 times 10 to the 3 times 30 times 10 to the minus 3, close brackets. 0.166, I believe. So 1.1666 recurring. Okay. So I've got current and I need to find R. So Mohn's law, R is equal to V over I. So V is 12 volts divided by I, which is 0.1666. Give me my response. So 12 divided by 0.16666 is equal to 72 ohms. And it wants it to answer for two significant figures, which is what I've got here 72 ohms. The resistance of the wire is 72 ohms.